Our next guest is regarded as one of the top leaders in the field of vision correction. His role as the doctor's doctor has been earned through his broad expertise and down-to-earth personality, I might add. Joining me now is renowned eye surgeon and author, Dr. Brian Boxer Walkler. Hi, doctor, how are you? I'm great. So great to have you all the way from Beverly Hills. Thanks for joining us this morning. You're welcome, it's a pleasure. Yeah, absolutely. You you felt it was important to fly to Vegas and because you are an expert in dealing with a certain uh, condition of the eye. Uh, share with us about keratoconus. Did I get it right? You did, you did. Okay, good. So good for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Keratoconus is a degenerative disease of the cornea, which is the outer lens or windshield of the eye. And the collagen is weak with keratoconus, so the cornea bulges out uncontrollably and can cause a tremendous amount of distortions in vision, such as bad night vision, double vision, multiple images, glare and halos, and frankly, just make leading a normal life almost impossible. Oh my goodness, it, this is a serious issue. So Very serious. You've mentioned some of the symptoms. Uh, how do people know if they may be suffering from the condition? If their vision is getting worse or their doctor is updating their prescription frequently, and mm -hmm. if they have astigmatism that keeps getting worse too, those are really classic warning signs that you have keratoconus. How many people does this affect? How common is this? It used to be one in 2,000, but now it's one in 500. So that's actually a 400% increase because we have better diagnostics to pick it up. Okay, so it's better diagnostics. It's not necessarily that more people are suffering from it? I think it's better diagnostics now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. We're picking it up much earlier. It's something called a cornea topography map. That's okay. the device that measures it. And if there's a little bit of yellow, orange, or red on the mapping of the cornea, mm -hmm. that's what keratoconus looks like. Okay, so you have an institute in Beverly Hills, and you specialize in dealing with keratoconus. I used to do cornea transplants about 20 years ago. That's how I was trained as a cornea surgeon. Okay. And I realized there's a lot of problems, lifelong mm. issues, rejection risks, and I wanted to develop a better way to treat this disease, keratoconus. Mm -hmm. So I pioneered first a procedure called Intax, little implants that reshape the cornea. But oh. then I f took it further and developed something called Holcomb C3R cross-linking. Mm -hmm. And this was revolutionary because it was the first time we could non-invasively strengthen the cornea and stop it from getting worse. And our success rate is 99.3%. Oh, really? It's huge. Truly? Huge. That's amazing. So you actually developed that treatment? I pioneered it, yes. Where did you find the name for that treatment, by the way? So one of my patients, who was a dear friend of mine, Stephen Holcomb, he was an Olympic bobsledder. Yeah. And he was suffering from this condition. He wanted to win a gold medal ever since he was a child, and he had the disease, and he had to retire. His team sent me, and the Olympic uh, Committee paid for his procedure, and we treated his keratoconus. He came out of retirement, and in 2010, at the Vancouver Olympics, he won the first Olympic gold medal for the United States in 62 oh, years. Wow. And I named the procedure after him, so that's why it's called Holcomb C3R. Yes, interesting. So people can go to you in Beverly Hills for that procedure. You started the procedure, so you are certainly an expert at it. It's amazing it's having that, that uh, successful results, quite frankly. Um, there's something else I'd love to move on to, too, because I, I find it's fascinating. Here mm -hmm. in Las Vegas, uh, you know, we must protect our eyes. But, but eye whitening is becoming a subject. Explain to me exactly what that is. It's more than just a cosmetic thing. So a lot of people, because of the sun, like you mentioned, you know, when they were kids, a lot of times not wearing sunglasses, over the years, that takes a cumulative hit on the whites of the eyes. That's why eventually as adults, a lot of people develop brown spots on the eyes if Certainly. they have darker skin or red bloodshot eyes. Certainly. And it can wreak havoc on people's self-confidence and self-esteem. Mm -hmm. So I developed a way, modified this technique to whiten the eyes and remove the brown spots, reduce the... Um, pigmentation and mm -hmm. also the bloodshot red vessels which gives a huge boost to people's self-confidence it absolutely you said some people you know when they get discolored eyes or redness in the eyes they actually just don't want to make eye contact with people anymore so this this is a safe procedure and does it work for a lot of different discoloration in the eyes we've been doing this for a long long time many years and we can treat the brown spots or yellow spots yeah. and also the blood vessels Ah, right. So people who have darker skin, like Hispanic, African Americans, they're more prone to developing brown pigmentation on the whites of their eyes or blotchy freckles, which really 
you know, affects people's self-esteem because people are always looking, looking at them saying, are. Are, are you sick or are you hung over? Totally. You know, oh it, gets, it gets tiring after a while to hear that. And like you said, people stop even looking at other people in the eye. They avoid eye contact because they just don't want people to look at their eyes. It's fascinating, doctor. Uh, how can people get in touch with you? You're in Beverly Hills, obviously. You're an expert at the procedures we just talked about so people can travel just a 40 minute flight and, and meet with you. How can they reach out today? I would say you? first you want to educate yourself. So go to okay. our website, boxerwalkler.com. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of great information, including books that we can provide complimentary about keratoconus and about the wider eyes treatment. Nice. So I think people want to first get familiar with the treatments and they can call the office. If they like, they can come in for a consultation and we can go from there. All right, Dr. Brian, thank you so much for joining us. It's a pleasure. Great to talk to you. The Boxer Walkler Vision Institute is located in Beverly Hills on Roxbury Drive. Contact them by visiting the website or calling the number right there on your screen. They are also on Facebook and Twitter. They have lots of great free information for you. Boxer Walkler Vision Institute is a proud sponsor of The Morning Blend.